Well, with Halloween just a week away, we know that many of you will also spend the weekend visiting the haunted houses and trails that are popping up all across the upstate. You see the signs for them all over the place right now. You may like to be scared, but what you don't want to be is actually afraid for your life. So Mike Manzoni is live at one Spartanburg County haunt this afternoon to show us what these attractions have to do to make sure the scares are fake. We're at Butcher Ridge here in Spartanburg County. It opens in just a little bit. The actors are starting to show up. Take a look behind me. That is the entrance right under that giant skull there. It's a lot more complicated than it looks. There's a lot they have to do to make sure nothing goes wrong. This is our grand entrance. Uh, we just put this up this year. Welcome to Jeff Hopper's Butcher Ridge in the backwoods of Spartanburg County. This is the beginning of our trail and of course our Main logo, Butcher Ridge. Inside, you'll find a bloody butcher shop. That's a meat hook. And a bathroom with a maniac serial killer waiting for you behind the shower curtain. And uh, I come out, of course, it's fogged up. Down the path and deeper into the woods. The entrance has been freshly done this year. You'll stumble across Freddy Krueger's dungeon. He has a victim and... Of course, it's smoked up in here with fog and everything, and it's hard to see. If you make it through there and you're brave enough to keep going, you'll have no choice but to cross this overpass. Yeah, this is our bridge over the dark forest. We have creatures that come out either side. And parts of the trail, actors even chase you with rail chainsaws. But it's safer than you might think. That's because the chainsaws they use don't have any chains. And all the fabric used to make the dark tunnels is safe, too. It's all flame resistant. It will. It'll burn under extreme. It most, mostly melts. But, uh, you know, it'll, it, as soon as you take it, it goes away. Local fire marshals inspect haunted houses and trails like this one at least once a year to make sure everything's up to code. Of course, we keep the tabs on them. That includes making sure there's a fire extinguisher at every part of the attraction, but they don't put a limit on the scares. Sometimes it's even too much for the man who created it all. It takes a toll on you. I, I can't come through here at night. It, it messes with me. This haunted attraction, like most, opens when it gets dark out on the weekends and stays open through Halloween. For now, we're live in Mayo in Spartanburg County. Mike Benzoni, 7 on your side. Thank you, Mike. Okay, if it's too much for the guy who made it, I'm definitely out. But if you would like to check out some of the haunted attractions near you, we have a full list of all of them at WSPA.com. Just click on the links we mentioned in the big blue box on the right-hand side of the homepage. The